Hello, this is BuilderDude35, returning with the second part of programming steering systems on an EV3. In this second part, we're going to be focusing on the return to center aspect of a steering system. Because after you tell your, your car to steer in one direction, you want it to return back to the center position. You don't want to have to keep trying to steer it back to the center. So, this is by far the most complex program that you're going to be making out of the, the four that I'm going to be teaching you how to make. But I will be explaining the logic behind, so hopefully you'll understand how to do it yourself. So the first blocks that you're going to drag out, you're going to go to sensor, then you're going to drag out a motor rotation block, you're going to go to math, then you're going to drag out a range block, then you're going to go to flow, and you're going to get a switch block out. Now the first thing you're going to do is take this degree tab out of the motor rotation block and set it as your test value. Now see, it's set for inside range as default, and that's good. That's what you want. The purpose of this range block is to measure the degrees that the motor is at and see if it's near zero. So you don't want it to be exactly zero because, let's face it, the steering system is never going to get exactly zero degrees. So you're, you're going to set a range of numbers that is near zero. So I would recommend using negative 10 as the lower bound and positive 10 as the upper bound. So that gives you a, a comfortable range within uh, which the steering can always be in between. And so then you're going to change this from a touch sensor and you're going to change this to logic. And if you want, you can switch to tabbed view. But if you don't want, that's okay. It's just a matter of personal preference. And then you're going to take the result of this range block and plug it into your logic switch. The first thing we're going to do is program the yes case for this switch block. So that's when that happens, it's reading the motor's degrees and it says if it's between negative 10 and positive 10, so near zero, and it says yes, we don't want it to do anything because the steering is already centered. So what we're going to do, this is really simple, you're going to drag out um, I'm sorry, wrong block. You're going to drag out a motor block. Remember motor A, a medium motor, is going to be your steering. And then you're going to click off. So you're just going to tell the motor to turn off when the, the degrees are near zero, which is the center. So now we're going to be programming the no statement of this block. This occurs when the, the, the number of degrees is read and it sees that it's outside the range of degrees. So this will happen when, when your car is, is steering, and we're going to, when it is steering, we're going to have to tell it to go back to the middle. So the first three blocks that you're going to need for this is another motor rotation block. Now you go into math, and you pull out a compare block. Then you're going to go back to flow, and pull out another switch block. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this tab and put it into uh, our A value. And we're going to set this to greater than, and then you're going to set your B value to 10. Now, we're going to be programming for if this is on the upper boundary of where your steering is going to be. See, I note that I'm using the, the same number for the upper bound that I'm using here. So if the steering is in the positive range, we're going to tell it to go a negative amount of degrees to go back to the starting point, which is the center. And uh, later, we're going to program it to do the opposite, where if it sees it's, uh, the number of degrees is less than 10, it's going to drive the motor in the positive d direction to get back to the center. So anyway, what you're going to do is you're then going to uh, switch your uh, switch block to logic. Then you're going to drag this result tab into these, this switch block here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to program the yes case for this switch. So to do that, we're going to go to flow and drag out a loop block. And then go to actions here and drag out one of these motor blocks. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn your motor block on. At, uh, right now, you want this to be at negative power, 
Uh, it doesn't matter what power you want, but a lower power is going to be more accurate. I prefer around 50. So you're going to put this at a negative power because if it's if the motor value is currently at positive, you want it to go in the negative direction to get back to the center. And you're going to change this loop block from unlimited. You're going to uh, go to motor rotation, and then you're going to go to current degrees. And you want the current degrees to be set then less than 10. So what this is doing is it sees if the motor um, is current degrees is greater than 10. If it says yes, it's going to drive in the negative direction until the degrees are less than 10, which means it's near zero. Now again, we're going to be programming the no case for this block. And this no case is going to occur when your motor is in the negative degree range. So then you're going to have to tell your motor to drive in the positive direction to get back to the center. So it's kind of going to be like we did here, but it's going to be in the opposite direction. So you're going to go into sensor, you're going to drag out a motor rotation block, then you're going to go to math, you're going to drag out a compare block, then you're going to go to flow, and you're going to drag out, surprise, another switch block. Don't you love these things? So we're going to pull this tab out, and we're going to make the motor, the current degrees of the motor, the A value. We're going to set this to less than, because if the motor degrees is less than negative 10, which is the lower bound, that means the motor is in the, is in the negative degree ranges. And then you're going to change this switch to logic. You're going to pull this tab out and plug it into this uh, block here, the switch block. Don't worry, I promise you this is the last switch block that we're going to use for the return to center part of this program. So what we're going to do is we're going to first program the no case. This occurs when the motor is reading the, the degrees and it, sees, it says no to being in the positive range and it says no to being in the negative range. And if it says no to both, then we can say it's at the center. And if it's at the center, we don't want it to do anything. So when we don't want it to do anything, we're again going to drag out a motor block, and we're just going to click off. Now for the last part of this block, the program we're working on here, we're going to be programming the yes portion of the switch. This is going to be the same exact thing that you did for the last yes portion, except all of the values are going to be in reverse. So you're going to drag a loop block, then you're going to drag out a medium motor block and what you're going to do is you're going to set the medium motor to rotate at the, the the same power as you did for the last one but in the opposite direction because now we're saying that the motor's position is in the negative degrees so we want it to rotate in the positive direction to get back to the center so 50 50 percent power is what I put in the last time so it'll remain consistent I'm going to put 50 percent and again and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it on. So this loop block right now is telling it to go forever, but we don't want it to go forever. We want it to go until the motor rotation hits what we want. So we're going to set the motor rotation to degrees, and we're going to have it rotate until the, the, the number of degrees is greater than negative 10, which means it's in the center. So this completes your program here. Now for a little recap of what, what we've done and how this program works. So this is basically what the finished program should look like when you're done. In the beginning here, you're going to have the motor test if it's near the zero, which means it's between negative 10 and positive 10. If it is yes, then in this first loop block, what we're going to do is we're going to stop the motor because that means it's in the center and we don't want it to do anything. But no, we see the motor is outside this range. That means it's either in the positive or the negative range of degrees. So now we need to figure out if it's negative or positive. This part here is going to test if it's positive. So if we, we see, if it tests if it's positive, it says, yes, this is positive. So we're going to drive the motor in the negative direction until we get back within the range here that we've set, this 10 degree range. 
but no, if it doesn't say it's positive, then that means it could either be two things. That means it could be negative, or there's the unlikely chance that it just happened to switch back to the center. So that's what this is going to test. If it's negative or if it's in the center. So if it, if it says yes, this is negative, then it's going to turn the motor on to drive in the positive direction until we get back within our range, our negative 10 degree range that we've set up here. Then lastly, if it says no, this is not negative, then we already established that it's not positive. So now if it's not negative, that means it's centered and we're going to tell it to do nothing. So thank you, that concludes the second part of this tutorial. So uh, please proceed to the third part to learn how to tell your robot to steer left and to steer right.